The Me Too movement has given a platform and powerful voice to women speaking out about both sexual misconduct and everyday gender inequities. But a group of men has also been trying to create a more level playing field for their female peers. As Stephanie Lydon reports, even before Me Too, they're working to shape the conscience of a new generation of business leaders. Soon after he started at Harvard Business School, Alex Taninga signed a pledge. It calls for men on campus to speak up. And against gender bias, discrimination, violence against women, and that they will be an active participant in the conversation about equality here at HBS and beyond. These are issues that you know affected me in my personal life. I'm the you know, son of a single mother. Uh, these are conversations I've been having with my wife. Taninga got a red T-shirt and a title, Man Ambassador. Me too. It may sound like a sign of the times, but ambassadors came before Me Too, a reaction to a gender reckoning at Harvard Business School. As described in a New York Times article from 2013, men dominated classroom discussions, ended up with better grades, and rated women based on their appearance. And over the past few years, you know, since that New York Times article, things have, um, have continued to, to change. And, says Colleen Ammerman of Harvard's Gender Initiative, Me Too has amplified the message of the ambassadors that sexual harassment and gender discrimination are not just women's issues. We have shifted the conversation to say, these are issues that we all have a responsibility, you know, to change. Um, it is not something that we should expect individual women to shoulder the burden. The headline generating behavior associated with Harvey Weinstein is easy to condemn. But first year MBA student Emily Heaton wanted to move the conversation to more subtle workplace dynamics. In an article for the campus newspaper last fall, she polled nearly 300 female students. I just simply asked them, would you feel uncomfortable if dot 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 no question generated a unanimous response but most women said they'd be uncomfortable if a boss asked them out or a male colleague apologized for swearing or used phrases common in some industries like too pregnant with an idea this has been a great uh, conversation starter on campus because this has gotten people talking about you know wait why is it that you feel offended alex taninga points to another conversation starter a group of ambassadors found that although men no longer dominate class discussion... On average, uh, men were speaking 50 percent longer than their female counterparts, um, and that men were twice as likely to be referenced uh, in a follow-on comment than their, their female counterparts. The hope is that focusing on the small stuff will lead to bigger changes. We are exposed to these ideas and having these conversations much more often than anybody was before us. So, so I'm, I'm optimistic that, that we're going to have a positive impact moving forward. Stephanie Lloyd joins me now. Hey, Stephanie, am I right in describing the mood of this sort of cautious optimism yeah, about the long-term impact of Me Too, yes? Yeah, there's hope, you know, that there's a real cultural change happening. There's also fear of a Me Too backlash. Sheryl uh, Sandberg's Lean In yeah. nonprofit has done a survey, found that about a third of male, about a third of an increase in male managers are, are now fearful of mentoring junior female colleagues. These MBA students are now already out in the uh, work world, such as it is. Are they sharing Me Too stories as well? Yeah, actually, the day we were on campus, there was a road race to raise awareness for mm -hmm. sexual assault, and the organizer, a student, told me that last year there were far fewer people. She said more people came out for this. There's mm -hmm. just it's just sort of more. Uh, in the air, there's much more discussion of it. People are sharing their stories. So just the way celebrities are sharing their stories and putting a personal face on this thing, so are you know classmates. Is this man ambassador thing quickly? Is this only a Harvard thing? As no, it's, it started at Harvard, but it has now spread to 25 business school campuses. Oh, that's great. Stephanie Lydon, thanks so much. Good to okay. see you as Good always. To see you.